Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. All right, let's get right into this video. I'm really, really excited about this video. We are doing a couples Q&A, and the reason that we are doing a couples Q&A, my husband has been very, very generous to sit down. He doesn't feel very well today. The reason that we are doing a couples Q&A is because we are announcing the beginning of our very much in love couples Instagram, <laughs> which Alex has started, um, and it is at Peter and Alex, and it is listed below, and we'll be posting on there regularly. Um, he will be the photographer because he is so good at the editing and all that kind of stuff. I will also list his Instagram below because he is loves to do the fashion and all that kind of stuff. So go follow him. He's very, very active on Instagram. So that's kind of why we're doing this today. But we also would like to wish you a very, very happy... <laughs> 2019! 2019! Yeah, BB. Oh, so okay. Happy New Year, BB. He said, "I'm so happy." All right. <laughs> so we're gonna get right into this video. I literally went. Okay, so I posted this on Instagram. I posted it a couple times. Um, I screenshot all the questions, and I we haven't really looked at them or anything. So we're just gonna go through. I'm sure there are a lot of questions that have been asked before. So we're just gonna go through, and we're just gonna answer the questions one after another, um, unless they're kind of repetitive, and I see that. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Are you ready? Here you go. Here you go. The truth and nothing but the truth. The couple's Q&A, the truth. Okay, um, let's see. Well, I don't have my readers on, so I can't read any of these names on here. But how did you know he was the one question for the both of you? Um, I don't know. I don't really believe in the one. You know, that's one of the things that Peter's always asked, like, you know, we talked about it, and we've talked about it on here before. Like, I don't have, like, this, like, soulmate kind of thing. Um, but I think that, like, we complement each other very, very well, and we balance each other out. Um, and it's funny because like my mom says to him a lot that he's like the reason like he like that he saved me So, um, so I think that that's um, kind of like when my mom recognized it I can also like recognize it too. Oh, I love that answer. Oh my god But you know what's interesting is that like when we met like I very much did believe in the idea of soulmates and all that kind of stuff And that was kind of like hard for me and then you know over time like I totally under like he talks a lot about like It's not so much soulmates as it is like meeting at a certain time and place in life and I think that we just kind of met at the right time and place. Not to say that our relationship has been easy by any means, because it hasn't, but I really believe that a strong foundation for a marriage is going through some tough stuff and coming out on the other side, which mm -hmm. I know will come up in this Q&A, because I'm very vocal about that in my videos, so. Vocal. Vocal. Okay, have you ever discussed having kids and why don't you want them? <clears throat> Definitely discuss having kids. On, um, on several Q&As, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like we've just, we've discussed that we both don't want any, so yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like the thing is, is that we're great uncles and I, I love my nephews and my godson and so does he. But at the same time, it's like we like to travel, I like to stay up late, you know, we like to do things that aren't necessarily conducive to having children. And I also, know, like he didn't want kids coming into the relationship and I was like, well, if I get with somebody that wants to have kids, I'll have kids. But at the same time, it's like, if I were to have kids, I would want to like live in the right neighborhood, you know, go to the right schools, and my life would become consumed with that, and like that's not the choice that I want to make in my life, so. Okay, next question. Uh, what actors would play you and Alex if a movie was made about you and a relationship, or you and your relationship? That's a good question. I have no idea. Who would you want to play you? I don't know. Javier Bardem. <laughs> you don't like him, do you? No. Who do you think? Uh, who do you think would play me? Dan I don't know, I don't Daniel know. Craig, <laughs> Andy Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't really, I don't really know who we look like, alike, or, or what. I mean, I don't know. I, I've never ever thought of it. Alex, like, no one comes to mind. Alex. Okay, so when people compare us to celebrities, I always get Zach Galifianakis. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> Alex always gets Kyle's husband from. People say he sounds just like him. Mauricio. Yeah, Mauricio. So. Okay, um, I don't know. Let me let us know in the comment section below who you think would play us in a movie. My husband and I are celebrating 10 years of marriage. How do you and Alex keep the spark alive? <laughs> lots of complimenting, lots of flirting, lots of honesty, you know, I think is important. Yeah, I mean, things to look forward to together and like being able to talk to each other beyond being polite. You know, yeah. like I think a lot of couples, like after so long, they're just like, they seem like they're getting along, but they're just they're just polite to each other because they know like what like the other person wants to hear and how they wants to hear it. But like 
at the same time, it's just kind of like pushing through that kind of stuff and like knowing it's like, hey, like, you know, like sometimes I don't say things in a polite way and sometimes I don't help you the way that you want to be helped and, or vice versa, and just knowing where it stems from and it stems from the love for each other. Yeah. Yeah. I think also like, and this is something like I've always felt, but like, I think he's changed over time into this. I think being desirable for the other person and looking like hot and cute for the other person, I think is important as well. Yeah. Lots of marriage counseling too. We talk about marriage counseling all the time. Like we are literally the biggest proponents for marriage counseling. Um, and it was his idea. So uh, give him all the props. How long did you two date before you were engaged or married? We dated for a year. Yep. Like a little, actually like nine months, I think. It was like, because it was on your birthday. It was like right? on July, it was June 19th. Cause it was, it was like my friend's wedding. Yeah, it was like the Friday before your birthday, right? I mean, it was something like that. A couple days before. And then we were going to get married the year later, and it didn't, so it didn't happen the way that we wanted it to. So, because we were like trying to save money and stuff for it, and we knew we wanted to do like a Vegas wedding and we wanted to do it a certain way. So, we waited two years and we got married in 2011. Mm -hmm. So, we've been married seven years and we've been together 10 years. Yeah. Seems crazy, doesn't it? Unreal. Unreal. Okay. How and when did you know that you were truly in love with each other? He's still uh, figuring it out, I okay. think. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure it out right now. I mean, like, this is true love right here, trying to sit in front of this light. <laughs> this light is intense. I was like, we're going to do it somewhere else because the light over there is so bad. Um, he's like, anywhere you want, babe. Anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. That's what you get for all the 5,000 times you've been like, can you pick me? Can you pick me? <laughs> Everywhere we go, he's always like, can you pick me? I'm like, yes, yes. Makes him happy to have a picture on his Instagram. Um, how did you know that you were truly in love? I don't know. I mean, I think it's just kind of a feeling. I mean, I don't know. I've never really like, like analyzed those questions. You know, like when did I know? I just knew, you know, it's, it's, it's not like there's like a defining moment. Cause to me, it was never like, this is it. You know what I mean? Like this, is this, this is, this is the, the action that like reveals everything. I think it's just like a, a, a combination of a bunch of stuff, you know, and, and, and I don't think it happened overnight. And I think it's just kind of like knowing that like, you know, like I have someone to count on and like have somebody that can like, you know, like, think the best of me or like, you know, like it's willing to like tell me the things that I don't want to hear and someone that challenges me and that doesn't happen over one time um, oh, or one specific moment. So, um, so I don't know. There's no, there's no one moment that I knew. I knew very quickly. I fall in love like that. Um, and I, it's not that I fall in love that quick. It's that I know if I'm wasting my time or not. Like if I'm dating somebody, I'm like, okay, this isn't going to happen. And with Alex, it didn't feel that way. We had like, We've talked about this a lot, but like our first date was probably one of the best dates we had either, like either one of us had had. It's it was like just, a movie date. Yeah, it was just very natural, very easy. It, honestly, like neither of us were looking for anything when we went into it. I did not want a relationship. I canceled the date twice. I think it was twice before. I had a date with the, somebody else the day next after. day, and he canceled it. And um, obviously, and you know, like, and I think that was it. Like going into it with no expectations. So I don't know. I just knew kind of like right away. Like this is. He literally walked in front of the car when I picked him up. Boo, Boo and Tucker are running laps around the house right now. Um, but like he walked, I've told this story before, but he walked in front of the car like when I was going to pick him up. He was at his friend's house downtown and he like gave this cute little wave and I was like, I am so screwed. I was like, oh my God, I'm so screwed. And he, you know, he still knows that too. And it's little things like this. Like we can be in a room somewhere like, this happened, I remember specifically like when we were at Ultra Music Festival. We go to Ultra Music Festival every year in Miami and we're going this year and then we're going to Miami after or we're going to Mexico after. Um, but... I remember we were at this party for Ar Armin Van Buren and he was like at across the room and he was writing articles for our website and stuff and talking to these people and he looked over at me and he went. And it's just like small stuff like that. Like when you wink at me across the room, remember that, do it tonight. I think it's so cute. <laughs> Not that. Okay. <laughs> um, how do your styles differ and does it make your home look different as in art decor, etc.? Um, it's totally different. Peter's very eclectic and bohemian, bohemian-esque, you know? And like, I like to think of like the aesthetic that I really like and uh, desire to be very like, like, you know, like, not like art deco modern, but like also like, you know, like modern, like modern-ish. Um, so, so they vary because, or like they blend because 
you know. They are kind of merging together. Like we're working on our bedroom right now and it's kind of like merging together. Mm -hmm. This is the year that we really want to work on our house. I think stylistically, as far as clothes and things, we're completely different. And when we met, more so because I was thinner than I am now. I used to tell Alex this. This is kind of a joke between us. I go, well, I'm kind of just very much a jeans and t-shirt kind of guy. Like I just throw on a jean. He's like, uh, no, you're not. Like it takes you a little bit longer to get ready than that. But I really am during the day. Um, but when we got together, I was very much like vintage t-shirts, like vintage Western shirts, and Alex was not. Um, and our style is kind of like, he is definitely more of like when you see like the style guys on Instagram, like you're really attracted to all of that. I mean, he's very, very into clothes. So, um, it's a problem. I, mean, I love clothes too. And I've all, I mean, I wanted to be a fashion designer in high school, but not like, I mean this, he, and he takes really good care of his clothes too. Like I'm not like that at all. Okay. Uh, what was your first thought of each other? Be honest. Um, obviously that he was good looking. Seriously? That was what you thought first? Do you remember the first time you saw me? The first time I saw Alex was in a bar and he was giving a friend of his birthday spanks. Uh-huh. And then I found him on MySpace. Okay, so that really dates us. Uh-huh. And I remember thinking, oh my god, he is so hot. But at the same time, I was like, he's going to be a little bit of a wild child. And the weekend that we were, and I had seen him out several times before, too, with his two friends. And um, the weekend before, <laughs> this story. The weekend before we were supposed to go on our date, like we knew who each other was and we were supposed to go on a date. Was it like a Monday or a Wednesday or something? Our date was on a Monday. Okay, so our date was, was on a Saturday. Okay, so this was on a Saturday. It was a white party at this bar. And he was walking around like in boxer briefs and like a t-shirt or something. And I'm standing there with some friends of mine that are sober people. And I okay? was definitely not. And he was definitely not. And, and it was so messy because like I thought that like my underwear were cute. They weren't. No, they weren't. And he had checked his pants in the coat check. And so well, he, I took my pants off because we were just like dancing. Because it, it gave up. But, um... Not completely naked. He was in his underwear. Right. So, like, my friends, like, checked my pants, but they didn't tell me. Or if they did, I forgot. And I'm just, like, literally, like, searching all over the place. And So we're upstairs in this bar, and I see Alex come in, and he's, like, going like this. And I see him walk by. And I'm, like, sitting there with two of my friends. I'm like, please, Jesus, just let him keep on walking <laughs> Sweet Jesus, just let him keep on walking. And he comes by and he like looks over at me and then he keeps on walking and then he goes like And he comes like, right to me, right? Like he goes, like um, like feeling. I'm like, he goes, my pants? Have you seen my pants? And I go, No. And he goes, Okay, he goes, I'll see you at our date on Monday or Monday. And then he licked my face. And I was like, Oh my god, what is this? And my friends were like, Who is this guy? And they thought he was cute, so it didn't really matter. Okay. I don't remember where I saw it. I saw that somewhere, like, on a TV show that, like, whoever, like, the other person, like, licked the other person's face. Like, you know, like, those, like, memes where it's, like... like then you know, called me that night to cuddle. Do you remember and that? it was, like, so, like, not... It was just, like, not even cute. And then he called me and he was, like, can we? Can you come over and get me and we can cuddle? I was, like, we don't even know each other now. <laughs> yeah. Was, 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 uh, like, cuddle code for... Ha, <laughs> ha! Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> hey, if you had said that, I would have been right over. Okay. Um, your favorite thing about each other? Um, my favorite thing about Peter is his, uh, his, like, un, like, controlled creativity. Like, he, like, has, like, an idea or, like, it's, like, needs to, like, let out, like, his creativity. And it's, it's just not, like, in just one lane. Like, he's just, like, in many, like, multiple different areas. And, like, you know, like, he just, like, always, like, just, like, with that like it's just like da -da 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 -da. you know it's not just one lane you know he always has like the lax like not lax but like the, the Idea, highway ideas LA, guy like. always thinking always thinking well it's not just ideas but it's like you know like it i mean it's sure ideas but then like there's like the action behind them and it's just, there's, there's like so many and i'm like oh my god like that gives me a headache you know <laughs> my favorite thing about alex is his drive he is absolutely one of the most driven people that I've ever met in my entire life. Like, if he wants something, he gets it. And I remember the, I think it was the second year that we went to Ultra, and he was like, I want to work with some of these music companies and help them throw the parties before. And he did. And I was like, this is crazy. Like, he was there interviewing and helping with PR lists and stuff, and it just, it was really cool. So, okay. We're not, can you see the timer on that? I cannot see that. I think it says 12 or 14. Can you I see? I can't see. I hope it doesn't say 17. But anyway, okay. If it stops, we'll just go and start it again. Uh, if you could have one wish come true for each other, what would it be? For each other? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there's just more than one. I don't think it would, one wish would be enough. I don't I, know. Maybe for, like, Peter to have, like, had his mom alive when we met so I could have had that connection. 
Oh, that's sweet. Oh my god. Are we gonna cry in this video? No. Um. I mean, I don't know. Do that know? would have been really, really nice. Like, you know, that's hard because so much of me is about my mom. And it is so nice that Alex knows my dad and my stepmom and he's like such a part of their life. Um, and he gets to see that. And he actually hears stories about my mom from my dad. And, you know, you knew my aunt, like, really well before she passed away, my uncle, and they would tell stories, and my cousin, but it's still not the same. Um, right. My mother would have loved Alex. She would have made him teach him, her how to salsa dance and, you know, pick outfits out for her. They would have loved each other. And the other thing that's really hard for me is that my mother and his mother are very similar, and they would have really, really got along. Yeah, so, I, I mean, sure. Yeah. Um, I think my one wish for Alex would be, it's kind of superficial, but it, it wouldn't be for him, so you'd have to know and to understand. I would love for Alex one year to not have to work and just be able to travel to every music festival he ever wants to go to and be able to get behind the scenes on stage. Like, he is so, he loves music so much. Like, I would love that for him. Like, it almost makes me kind of cry just to be able to experience that once in our life, you know, his life. My life, too, I would go to. Okay. Uh, what do you two, okay, what do you two do together when spending, I can't see because I'm crying. Okay. Spending time together. I know you guys do a lot separate, but we do do a lot of things separate, but we do tons of stuff together. Like, I just think because I mean, you don't see it on the vlog, yeah. like it doesn't it's happen. It's crazy because, like, I mean, like, we spend, like, I don't know, 50% of our days together. And it's yeah. just, like, I just don't want to be on camera all the time. You know, and I would rather be watching TV versus like All the listening, Peter, to like, you know, like interact with like, you know, a screen. So like when we are not like in front of a camera, you know, like we're going to brunch, we're shopping, we're talking about the dogs, we're trying to figure out like a house, we're planning our trips. We are like with my family, we're with his family. I mean, it's, we're shopping. Hanging out in bed a lot. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like endless, you know, so like... Yeah, but, and, he, and he does, like, I mean, he is such a hard worker that, like, when, like, he's not working, um, and people... I want to let loose. People, people, and, yeah. So, he is such a, such a hard worker, and, um, it's interesting because people always think that they're like, oh, Alex is the breadwinner, and Peter just sits at home all day long and films these stupid videos, which... No, babe. We're, we're, like, a lot more Daddy equal than that. broke as fuck. Oh, sh sure. that's bullshit. Okay. So anyway, um, you know, but he's a very, very hard worker. And so when he's at home, I'm very active in a 12 step program as well. So like, that's a big part of what I do, but he, I don't even need to watch TV shows. He and my best friend, Tanya, like they literally watch every TV show in the entire world. I like asking something and oh, like this, he just watched you the entire you series in like a day. And I'm like, oh my God, how do you find the time? Okay. So yeah, I mean, we spend a lot of time together, maybe more than I want to. So no. <laughs> And I'm so happy because let me just tell you, for 10 years of our relationship, I've talked about this on my vlog, and this is something that gets me emotional. For 10 years of our relationship, I have been able to go 10 minutes down the street, pick up my best friend, and drive around and get a fountain coke with her and talk endlessly all night long. And his best friend has lived in LA, and she just moved back this year, and I'm so happy. So I'm constantly like, call Sarah up, go do something with Sarah. And we're actually going to do a video, the three of us, who knows my husband better, me or his best friend. Pete does. It, it, Peepee. Peepee the flying chihuahua. You're being such a good boy. Okay. Um, do you think zodiac signs matter in a relationship? No. No, we don't really. Do I mean, that. they do if you but he, But he kind of enjoys Why, yeah. that stuff. I mean, I think they're interesting, but I'm not, I'm not like, oh my god, that is so mean. I can only date a Sagittarius. <laughs> like. <laughs> That's so funny. Come on. We, anyway, I was just talking to somebody on the phone. I said, are you Sagittarius? Uh, okay. Uh, what do you find most attractive about each other? Physically, let's say. What are your penis? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, what else? <laughs> um, your... Be nice. <laughs> what? Okay, what else? What else? Like your face? <laughs> your face! How's that? Do you say that with your friends? I it? haven't done that in years. Face! Okay, anyway, um, what's the favorite thing about you? I love my husband's lips, but I have to say this, and I don't mean this in any kind of perverted way in the entire world, but anybody that knows my husband personally knows this to be true. My husband has the finest butt in the entire world, which he does not believe to be true. I don't believe really I've had so many people tell me that. He, I mean, it's literally like, boom. And just to see him walk around the bedroom and not have to work out or diet or anything in like Calvin Klein underwear. I diet. You do, but I mean like, so, okay, let's get to the next thing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How to move, oh, okay. That's kind of like a relationship question. I'll do a Peterism's video about that. Um, let's see. How do you deal with haters? Well, um, so... Very differently. Yeah, very differently. Um, 
Alex kind of engages in all of that. I don't. Um, I don't when it affects me. I think sometimes when I do engage, it's because it's kind of like, I, it, it's like I've had enough and I just need to clap back so they can sit down. You know, so like... It's typically in protection of me. Yeah. And I'm like, don't. Okay, like, that's not how I live my life. I don't engage in it. Let people have their say. Let them feel it the way that they want to feel. Let them believe in it. I'm really more about... My peace and serenity is more important to me, especially going into 2019. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just vital to me. Because to me, it's like, you know, th these comments come from someone that only knows one facet of our life, right? So, like, they make such, like, generalization comments that you know, can be really hurtful. They don't hurt me, they hurt me. Well, they do hurt me. They hurt me because they hurt him and he takes them seriously. I am like, okay. Ugh. But that's changed. I don't take him as serious as I used to. Right, but it's, I mean, it still affects you, you know? Yeah. So like when people are like saying certain stuff and then I'm kind of I'm kind of like, okay, you don't really know Peter Mon, so why don't you just... I think the thing is too, like we went so long that it stopped. Um, the thing I wanted to say is, at the, t at the tail end of 2018, one of the things I really, really learned was I would rather focus my attention on those people that like me and those people that enjoy watching my videos and those people that want to interact on with me than those that don't. And there's enough people out there that enjoy what I do. So thank you for being around. Thank you for watching. And you will be who I will be giving my attention to in 2019. And I think that's not just a YouTube thing. I think that's a thing in life, Which too, you know? From? Where, where did I learn that from? Mm -hmm. Did I learn that from you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who is your favorite DJ and why? There's a fun question for you. Um, it depends. It depends. Uh, I mean, like my number one, it's like Cascade. Ooh, we're the last half an hour of our video. <laughs> I love Cascade. Like, I mean, Cascade is like literally, I mean, I cried every time I met him in Vegas and I was like, dude, I'm like, you're the only person in the world that makes me like cry of feelings. And he's like, weird. I'm like, I know this is really weird. Nice to meet you. Bye. Um, that was really fun. Our Vegas trip, I got to meet Shane Dawson and he got to meet Cascade and it was like, we both get to meet our heroes, you mm -hmm. know, it was really cool. My other favorite DJ would be Carl Cox. I mean... He is uh, so full of shit right now. His other favorite DJ is Rufus DeSol. Well, that's not a DJ, that's a band. Okay, well. And I love Rufus DeSol. Like, I love them. Like, my all-time favorite, like, it's like Cascade, Carl Cox, Rufus, um... I don't know, anything like deep techno. Oh my god, when we, okay, I'm so old school. When we saw Swedish House Mafia last year, Chloe, I bawled my eyes out. I love Cascade as well. I love Marshmallow. I have to say, I love David Guetta. Oh my god, I'm such a huge David Guetta fan. Zed is great in um, mm -hmm. live too. I have to say, I, we just recently saw the Chainsmokers and I loved them. And I had seen them before, but I didn't really pay attention to them. They are really, really good live. They yeah. are like fantastic live. Okay, um, let's see. You and Alex are stranded on an island. This will be so good. You and Alex are stranded on an island. What three items do you agree to take? Food plus dogs are with you. So you each get three items. Okay. Um, a blow-up mattress. <laughs> oh, actually, like... Okay, this one is five-star hotel all the way. So, like, <laughs> so like I take it back. Not a blow-up mattress. Like, an actual, like... An actual comfortable, fully furnished bed. Okay. That's, That's one That's a good item. one, actually. Mm -hmm. Is it a king so I can share it with you? Yes. Okay. Um, do you hear the wind outside? That's crazy. Music. So like, whatever item that we need to have, whatever one item that would just allow music to be played without batteries running out. Um, and we already have food, so it's eat, drink, yeah, rave, repeat. That's right. Okay. And what was the third one? I'm um, a sex swing. A sex swing. <laughs> what? We need to keep it. We need to keep it funky. It's the beach. You don't. First of all, you don't want to. Uh, yeah, you don't want Stan to get in places that it shouldn't. So, a sex swing will prevent that. Sponsored by Adam and Eve. No, I wish. Okay, my three items would be my twelve-step text. Number one would be number me. Um, a cell phone with unlimited data and perfect signal. <laughs> and, and then three unlimited, unlimited battery, obviously. Three. God, I don't know what I would bring my third one. For the rest of my life? Pee pee. He said, well, you would be there, sweetheart. Uh, number three, what's something that I cannot live without? Um, coffee. Oh, coffee, yeah, endless coffee. Okay. Um, oh, Botox, I definitely need that. You don't need any Botox. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, what do you guys remember most about your first kiss? Do you remember it? It was actually right here. It wasn't, it was up there. It was no, up. it was, he had a couch here, remember? There used to be a couch oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
was right here. Um, and then we moved it upstairs. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, you gotta test Next. the car. You okay. gotta test the car before you buy it. What do you think is each other's spirit animal? I don't know. A wolf? For me? Mm hmm What do I think is your spirit animal? Hmm, I don't know. That's hard. Yeah. <laughs> a horse. <laughs> a horse? Is it because of a pun? <laughs> okay, let's move on. What's your favorite place in Indianapolis? <laughs> um, the airport. Amen to that. Moving right on out. Okay. Uh, let's do what's our favorite place in Miami because we love Miami so much. Um, I mean the beach. The beach. Of... Favorite restaurant do you think in Miami? Um, sugar. Really? Mm -hmm. Favorite restaurant? Oh yeah. I love Doji's, the Venezuelan restaurant. Yeah, I mean it's not my favorite. And somebody asked in here earlier, do we keep up with the news in Venezuela? And we do. His family talks a lot about it. It's very sad what's going on over there. Um, Alex has family that live in Venezuela as well. His father still lives there. Um, so we talk a lot about it. Um, okay. Oh, once it's safe to go to Venezuela, do you think you guys will go visit? Love you both. Yeah, I think it will be great. I mean, I think that um, once it's safe, It'll be a different country, so there will be nothing for me to like see that I've seen. So it'll be just kind of like like seeing a new country or whatever. But it will be great. Look how cute the Radley is. It would be a really nice place to go. His mom went back a couple years ago, and she went to what's it called, La Roca? Los Roques. La Roques. And I really want to go there. They like take you to like a private beach that's like a mile around, and you're there all day long, and you can do whatever you want to do. I think that would be the first. That would be so much fun. Okay, who made the first move? Peter. I did, didn't I? Yeah, I was frisky back then. Okay, um, what's the th something that's changed the most in the other person since the beginning of your relationship? Um, I mean, there's a lot that's changed in both of us. I mean, like, I feel like we're like both like different people that we were 10 years ago. You used to party a lot, like go out and you just would stay out. Like you don't do that as much anymore. Like hardly ever. Yeah, that's tr very true. Yeah. But when I do, I, re I revert back to my But days. you were young. I mean, you were 24 and I was 36. I went out a lot back then, too. So, um, I don't know. What do you think I've changed? How do you think I've changed a lot? Um, you're focusing a little bit more about on, like, the things that would really make you happy versus the things that, like, would sustain you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I agree with that. You're welcome. Um, I don't... I'm trying to find things that are fun. <laughs> what were your favorite movies of 2018? God, what was my, well, my favorite movie of 2018 was Dumplin', hands down. I don't know. He hasn't seen it yet. What was your favorite TV show of 2018? I don't know. I've seen so many. Elite was good. He loves that show. He loves all the Netflix shows. Mm -hmm. What are your ages? I'm 46, he's 34. We're 12 years apart. His brother and um, wife are almost the exact same age difference, too, which is funny. Yeah. Like, she's older, and he's the younger one, too. Where was your first date? <laughs> Bravo, this Italian restaurant here in town. And then we went and got Starbucks. Well, I got Starbucks. Uh -huh. And then we came back here. And then, and then I got some Peter. <gasps> did you stay over that night? No. No. I took you home, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, where did you meet? Uh, we met at a bar in Indianapolis called Talbot Street. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we actually met there, though. Then, then I sent him a I mean, that's probably where we met, because, like, that's the, the one that's the one place that there was to go out to. Yeah. And so, like, we, like, met there after we started talking virtually. What is the best couple's advice you have ever received? Um, that we've ever received? I think it was, I think it was from Fred, and I think... A friend of ours said, the day that we were getting married, I said, and he was older at the time, he since passed away, and I loved him, he was an awesome man. And I said to him, I go, what's the best, he had been married like 50 plus years at the time, I said, what's the best advice you could give someone? And he goes, divorce is not an option. He said, if you're really committed to each other, you're going to have a lot of things that come up in the marriage, and, you know, both people are going to go stray emotionally, physically, all kinds of things at some point in a marriage, but, like, if you work on things and you're committed to working through it, you can make any marriage last. And it's not to say that divorce, and, and every time I say this, people are like, well, does that mean an abuse? And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about just regular run-of-the-mill relationships that kind of go sour, get stale, or you just become roommates and stuff like that. And, you know, I think that's scary as you've been together for a while. So, you know, to just say, hey, we're committed in this in the long haul. Yeah, I mean, that, 
that doesn't resonate with me as like the best advice that we've ever gotten because to me it's kind of like you know we stay in this relationship because we want to and we want to work at it and we make each other happy but if that ends like there's no need to force it right you know um and we've been very honest with each other about that yeah so you know what's like, the best advice you've received i don't know i mean i every two weeks from our therapist <laughs> We have three people in our marriage. So, yes, we are a threesome. It's Alex, myself, and our counselor. We joke with him about that all the time. Okay, who is the better cook? Um, I will give that to Peter. I don't even cook. That's why. <laughs> who does most of the housework? Um, it's 50-50. Oh, we, my Lord. We both do the bare minimum. That's, that's probably true. But our house is, like, not, it's not that messy. What is your favorite relationship memory? As, a, as opposed to any other memory? <laughs> I think like my favorite relationship memory would always include something to do with traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think like making each other's dreams come true, you know, like, I mean, like I think that like, you know, Peter's like ability to like, you know, write a book, you know, and like, you know, being there through that whole process, like it's, it's one of my favorite memories for him. And then, you know, like, you know, like, Peter being there with me, like, when I walk through the gates of, like, Ultra or, like, any other music festival or, like, just, like... That's the, fun, yeah. The feeling of, like, just, like, of, like, complete out of, like, n like natural, organic euphoria, like, it's, like, steaming through you or, like, you know, like, watching a movie that we both wanted to watch or just, like, you know, getting two dogs together, you know? So, yeah. We literally have so many. Okay, it says, every couple I know has a song, what y'all's? Um, I don't really think we have a song. I mean, we have a song that we walked down the aisle to, and it was like You and I by Ingrid Michaelson. Um, but I don't think we have a song. We both like di different kinds of music. Peter's very like country, old fashioned, like, you know, like classic, you know, like in, during Christmas, like he classic plays like rock. nothing, like nothing but like classic Christmas songs. And I. I love EDM not... though, too. I mean, I play it like. Oh, the... yeah. Right. I but, think if we had, if I had one moment musically together, it was when Cascade was playing Lana Del Rey's Young and Beautiful at Ultra. It was mm -hmm. at our first year, I think. And, like, Alex had gone to get us Red Bulls, and I was there, and I was, like, dancing. It just started, and he came running down, and I like, looked. And it was, like, just this moment that we have between us. Like, we have so much fun going to Ultra every year. Traveling is just so much fun for us. It's just, mm -hmm. like, you know. Okay. Uh, I do wish you would want to go to more music festivals with me. Yeah, I'm open to doing that. Coachella, send us tickets. We'll go. Yeah, we want to go to Coachella. Okay, what does your husband, one, love, and two, hate the most about you doing YouTube? Um, what I love the most is that it fulfills his, like, like I mentioned, like his creativity lanes, since he has so many. Um, and what I hate the most is, like, when they're bad days, it really kind of, like, brings him down. And I just really don't have the time to bring them up, you know? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, it's just, you know, it really affects them. So, you know, sometimes it's kind of like, are you really willing to pull up with like people that you don't really know ever met in your life? Didn't like affect you this way? Cause like my mom will always like, my mom taught us one thing when we moved here. Well, she taught us a lot of things. Like the one thing that I remember is like, she's like, you know, when somebody says like a mean word, a cuss word or whatever word, it's like, it's just a word. It has no power. And the only person that gives them that power is you because you're the one receiving it. So... You know, like, when Peter, like, lets, like, those, like, negative shit and, like, those videos or whatever, like, get to him, it's kind of like, well, you're giving them that power. So, um, yeah, that's the one thing I don't like. Yeah, he has very low tolerance for that. Um, but other than that, he's, like, you're so supportive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it makes you happy. Yeah. I mean, like, if, like, if I would be, like, working... You know, and change my jobs to like be like I don't know like a clerk at a, like a law office. You know, like if it made me happy, like he will be supportive. So yeah, we're super supportive of each other's endeavors, yeah. and I think I honestly think the age difference helps with that. Like I really do because like he's at a stage that I was at with my career like so long ago, and I'm out of that career now. So I'm like I mean I've gone the whole gamut of that career and ended it. You know, and so he came into the tail end of me being in that career. You know, and um. And so now I get to kind of see him go up in his, so it's fun. Okay, let's end this. Uh, if there was one book you'd want Alex to read, what would it be? So it's kind of a funny story. When we first got together, 
we would go to Barnes and Noble on Sunday or like Saturday after we went out to eat and Alex would be like, oh, I love Augustine Burroughs. Well, I love Augustine Burroughs too. And he does love Augustine Burroughs. And he would read like all Chelsea Handler's books. Who else? There's another one. Chelsea Handler. Oh, he loves that. Uh, Ma is it Max Tucker? Tucker Max that wrote, I hope they serve beer in hell. Yeah, I only read that one book though. Yeah. So he loves, uh, Pee Pee is being so sweet. Um, so he likes to read a lot of those memoirs, or he did, and he hasn't read, I think, in probably 10 years. Um, I mean, I read the, like, The Ever Life Changing of Tidying Up. Oh, he liked Like, this book. year, and, and I thought it was a great book. But, I mean, mainly because I needed to clean my closet. Yeah, which he did. Um, okay, if I could have Alex read one book. Oh, God, that's so hard. If I could have you read one book. The Before, Now, and After Then by Peter Mark. That's me. Um, what is, you did read it though. That's true, you read mm -hmm. that. What's a, um, what's a book I talked a lot about to you? I talked to him a lot about books. I'll be like, oh my God, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. Do you know what, this is so corny. I can't believe that I'm actually gonna say this. But since I'm reading it now and I'm so into it, I wish that he would read the Harry Potter series. Because oh, I think no. that it would be something fun for us. Like our friends, like Aaron and her husband, like they're really into Harry Potter. And I think it would be fun to like have that joined interest. Um, so, I don't know, maybe the Harry Potter books, you know? To Kill a Mockingbird, but you've seen the movie, haven't you? Never read the book in high school. Yeah. So, probably that. All right, that's it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for, uh, look at little Pee Pee. Did you have fun? For pee -pee? the 45 minutes we spent together. For the 45 minutes we spent for the very, very I feel very like long. this should be like the Andy Cohen kind of like a Real Housewives of like Beverly Hills or whatever reunion. Like part one, part two, and part three. Well, I know that that's who you think you're sleeping with at night because my oh. hair but <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, so go follow our new Instagram. It is at Peter and Alex, and it is listed below. We love you guys, and thank you for watching, and we will see you later. Bye. Peace.